next joint or region on your spine after the neck is to go a bit down and to take care of the mobility of your thoracic spine. The thoracic spine is roughly around here. So you can imagine that you, you have a finger here, a tiny bit of pressure and you, you're pushing it forward and back and forward and back. As before, you try to maintain the rest of your body as motionless as possible, just making sure that all the, the vertebras here are active, but nothing else is moving. So from forward and move and moving backward, we can also move laterally, left and right, and left and right. And of course, now we can make it a bit more sophisticated by making a circle. Left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, and switching direction, back, left, forward, right, back, left, and so on. Even more sophisticated will be a figure eight. So the figure eight could be horizontal forward and backward. So moving forward, coming back and moving backward here. Slowly first and progressively faster. But the figure eight can also be lateral, going right and left. Forward, right, backward, forward, left, Backward. Same thing here. When the movement gets right and smooth, you can go slightly faster. The next one in your spine will be to take care of your lumbar spine. So that's the next portion of your spine. And this one can also move sideways, right and left but also forward and back. And then as a circle, relaxing everything else in your body, keeping your arms loose, and maybe three going to, into a figure eight, figure eight forward and backward. So going sideways, all the way down forward, coming back to middle and then back all the way down backward and back to the middle reversing the direction with maybe a tiny bit more speed in cool 